Welcome back to my channel. My name is Logan Venable and this is Logan Venable Vlogs. As you can tell by the title of this video, this is going to be a prepping for Disney World video. So this is going to be collective hauls and a bunch of other good stuff all about Disney World. So I'm super excited. So we're going to jump right into everything that I bought today in store. So first we'll start off with the clothing items. I only have a couple clothing items. So this is a super cute Mickey Mouse tee, I got it from Walmart. It was in the men's section, so you know it's gonna fit absolutely great. It was only $8, which I love because I do not, I did not want to spend a whole bunch of stuff on things that I wasn't gonna wear again. And from Target, I picked up this Star Wars tee, also from the men's section, and it is just so super cute. Husband got one too, so we're gonna be matching, which I absolutely love. So we're gonna be doing the building a droid thing or whatever it is at Star Wars, so I'm super excited to wear those while we're there. This next part is going to be a collective haul between Walmart and Dollar Tree. So when we go, there's going to be six of us going. It's me, my husband, and then both of our parents. So I'm going to be making us Disney survival kits. Really just a Disney goodie bag. I'm going to be putting them in these brown bags that I found, and I'm just going to write Disney survival kit on the front to be a little extra. I also found this Valentine's Day tissue paper to fill it with. I picked up this pistachios. It's nine pack, which is going to be super easy to divide up into all of the bags. I thought this would be great to have a snack in the room or also bring it into the park so that we have a quick snack if needed. I also picked up a few bags of these pretzel crisps. These are my husband's favorite snacks, so I grabbed a couple bags of these to go in the goodie bags. Again, it's just really nice to have in the hotel room to snack on or to even have in the park so that way you have a quick snack at the park. Another thing I picked up for the goodie bags was a couple packs of the Eclipse gum. This is in the Winter Frost flavor. I thought this was a super easy bag to put in a backpack. It's not going to take up much room. This is also good because Disney World does not sell gum inside of their parks. So I grabbed these to put in all the goodie bags so everybody has some just in case they want some. Oh, next I grabbed everybody a poncho. So all the girls get a pink poncho, all the boys get a blue poncho. And I grabbed these just because you never know if it's gonna rain in Orlando. And also, so if we wanna ride a couple of the water rides, we have ponchos so we're not soaking wet throughout the day. The next thing I picked up were these little Excedrin migraines. I thought these were gonna be so easy to divide up into the bags as well because they come with three packets of two. You never know when you're gonna get a headache. All the medicine is needed when you go to Disney World. Uh, next, I saw that they had these super cute, like, wisp type things, which are just like mini toothbrush that you can keep in your purse and stuff. So, this is the Crest and Scope mini brush. I love these because there's no water needed. It's super easy to take out, brush your teeth, and then you just throw it away. So, I grabbed a couple of these to put in all the goodie bags that people can take into the parks. So, that way we have it on hand just in case if anybody also need to brush their teeth. I don't know. I'm super extra when it comes to all this, but I thought it was super cute. So the next thing I picked up was this first aid portable pack. I love this because it is super compact. It's not going to take up much room and it's going to fit literally in any pocket of my backpack. It comes with 15 items. So it comes with a couple different band-aids, a few like alcohol swabs, and I think that's it. So it's super neat, super compact, which I love. You never know when you're going to need something like this. I also picked up a travel size deodorant. So I picked up the Speed Stick in Power Fresh. This one just smelled the best out of all the options, but I picked this up so I can keep it in my backpack while we're in the park, just in case me or my husband needs to, you know, reapply some deodorant. I also picked up a couple of these little Germex hand sanitizer. I loved these because it came with a little clip on them so we can clip them on our backpacks. Super easy to wear and they are very small so they're not going to take up too much room if we put them in a bag. I grabbed a few of these to put in all the goodie bags. And then I also picked up a few waters. So I thought these mini waters were so cute and were going to fit in the goodie bags very nicely. I thought these would be super good to keep in the hotel room so that way everybody has something to drink if they need to while we're in the room. I don't know if I said, but we're not going for like a full week. I think it's only like three or four days. So we're not going to be there for super long. But these are just some things that I thought would be nice to have either in the hotel or that we can carry into the parks with us. Also grabbed my favorite candy ever, which is the Sour Punch Twist. These are so yummy. My favorites are the blue ones. So I grabbed the bag with the most blue ones. That is everything that I bought for today. Like I said, I have more stuff coming. I have an Amazon order coming and I think I have a Target order coming. So I'll definitely be showing you everything that I bought from those places as well. So I'll be seeing you soon.
So this is what I had in mind to do on each of the bags was just write Disney Survival Kit on it just to make it a little extra. Um, I wrote it in pencil first and then I'm going to go back over it with the Sharpie to make it pop on the bag. But this is where we're at. <laughs> This is gonna be haul number two of our prepping for a Disney World haul. So up first, I did pick up a Disney phone case because you cannot go to Disney without a super cute phone case. This one is called the Enchanted Suites, I do believe. If that is not correct, I'll put the title at the bottom, but it's just super cute Disney phone case. I'm super excited to carry this to the park. And then the rest of the stuff that I got is for the Disney survival kits that I'm making for everybody. And these are gonna be from Target. So at first, I got a bag of goldfish for everybody. And these are the Mickey Mouse ones. I thought these were so cute and obviously like had to have the Mickey Mouse ones for Disney. And then I also picked up two boxes of the nutrition little snack bags. I thought these would be awesome to keep in our bags while we're walking through the park in case anyone needs a snack. So I picked up these super cute Disney gummies because you have to have all the Disney snacks. So these are like little character gummies. So these have Nemo, Buzz, Dash, Dory, Doug, and Mike Wazowski in them. My husband loves the fruit snacks, so I had to pick up those. I also picked up Pepto-Bismol liquid caps. These have 12 in them. I picked up one for everybody's Disney survival kit bag. And then I also picked up an Aleve little travel size that has 10 little pills in them. Super nice to have while you're in the parks because you never know when you're going to need something like this. And I just want everyone to be prepared. That is all that I got from Target. Stay tuned for my next haul. <laughs> of the haul are things that I got from Amazon. So at first I bought this set of three rolls Tums just for heartburn. I know my mom has heartburn a lot of times and so I just wanted everyone to have a roll of Tums just in case. See, but right now you don't have to wear them outside but you do have to wear them when you go inside. So like when you're inside waiting on a ride and things like that. So Two packs of these black masks. The black ones are mine and my husband's favorite. I just think they look better. So I just grabbed two packs of these and I'm gonna put a few in each of the bag. I think I have 20 total. So I'll definitely have some extras um, to carry around. And then I also got this collapsible water bottle. So in Disney World, they have free water stations where you can fill up with water. I thought this would be great to have because from what I've seen, all they've had are like tiny cups. So if I want to carry water around with me, I thought that this would be the best option. So it does collapse down. You can open it at the top like this, and then it pulls out into a normal size water bottle. This one came in a pack of two, which was a great deal. Um, my mom has the other one, but I just kept the gray one. And then what I also like too is the top completely comes off as well. So you can put some ice in there and it's just really nice to have. And then you just easily fold it back up like this. How does it go? Like this. And then it has a strap that you can wrap around and lock everything, hold everything together. So I really like this because it does fold up really small just in case I don't want to use it. So it'll fit easily in my backpack. This is by far the, my favorite thing that I bought for Disney. If you know anything about Disney, you know that Disney has these backpacks. They're by Loungefly and they are super cute and super expensive, like $70 per backpack. I did find like a Loungefly knockoff on Amazon. This super cute rose gold sequin mini backpack. She is so super cute and so sparkly. I love her. She's rose gold on the back as well. Straps are adjustable. She has this little carry right here. She does have pockets on the side. The super cute zipper in the front. She does have quite a bit of room and then a little pocket in the back. And the real lounge fly has like the Mickey ears and the bow. I'll include a picture of the lounge fly right here. I wanted that one so bad, but I did not want to pay $70 for it. It's a park exclusive type bag. So if you buy it outside of the parks, it's obviously going to be like way more, like $150, and that was just not going to happen. So I found this cutie on Amazon for like $30, and I love her. I haven't been able to carry her yet because I've been saving her for Disney, 
but just by the looks of her, she seems like very nice quality and she's so super cute. And I think that is everything that I bought. I'm trying to remember to make sure I didn't forget anything, but I'm pretty sure that is all for the collective haul. I think the last two things I need to do are put the Disney survival kit bags together and then pack my park bag. Let's put our Disney survival kits together. super cute valentine's day tissue paper just to be a little extra with the you know presentation because there's really no cute way of throwing this all into a bag so put it together just like that and with another little tissue paper what the Disney survival kit bags are going to look like when they're all done. I love the Valentine's tissue paper popping out the top and I love the cutesy little hand sanitizer on the front. I'm also going to be putting in little gift cards in all the bags. Um, I'll put it right here. Real quick to end this vlog, we're going to go through my Disney part bag and see what all I put in here. So like I said, this one is a lounge fly knockoff from Amazon. Super duper cute. I think the brand is MAGA Grace. Not really sure, but I absolutely love this bag and she does fit quite a lot. I do have my little hand sanitizer clipped to the top handle for easy access. On the side right here, I have my small pack of gum since Disney does not sell gum in the parts. I do want to have some on hand. And then in this front zipper right here is where I keep all the snacks. So I have the nuts, the gummies, the sour punch straws, all of those right there easy to get to so that way we're not digging through the bag all day. And the bigger compartment is where I have really everything else. So I do have my wallet in here, but I'm debating on switching over to one of the wallets that's just like the card holders that don't have all the zippers just to save a little bit more space. But if not, then I'll just keep this one in there. I'm also taking my camera. This is a Canon EOS Rebel T5. It's actually not mine. It's actually my mother-in-law's, but she lets me use it all the time. Probably going to be around my neck most of the time or around, you know, my mother-in-law's neck because we will be taking lots of pictures. But I did want to make sure that it was going to fit in the bag just in case we had to put it in there for rides and things like that. So it does fit perfectly fine. The next thing I have in here is my portable water bottle that I just showed you in the hall part. Again, fits in there perfectly. And then also I have this little Ipsy bag and inside the Ipsy bag, I'm keeping all the medicine. So I have the Tums, I have our purple first aid kit. I have the Pepto. I have um, deodorant in case we need to touch up. I have my pack of Aleve and then I also have the wisp mini toothbrushes in here just in case i like keeping all these things in a bag because it just makes it easier to get to instead of it all just rummaging through my bag at once and then the last thing i have in my bag is in the back pocket and it is just the pack of masks thank you so much for watching this video and watching me get prepped and ready for disney world the next video that you see will be us at disney so i hope you subscribe and stick around to see our fun trip in disney world for cute bags i'm going to have uh from logan get it together no i need to learn how to talk